What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a budget revolver. We're gonna be going over the Rock Island Armory Model 206. Now this guy is a 38 special revolver with a two inch barrel and an overall weight of around 24 ounces, making it pretty lightweight, pretty small, pretty compact, and believe it or not, extremely affordable, which is one of the things that interested me the most about this. Uh, this comes in around $250, so hope, with any luck, this gun will actually be pretty sweet. We'll have to see. Uh, usually anything below $300, 250 gets a little sketchy here and there, but so a lot of times right at the $300 mark, you can find some real hidden gem type stuff. And this one might be that, it might not. Before we get in the video though, I do wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. We did purchase this gun with the patron dollar, so if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Just go to the link in the description and sign up. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS. could really use your help, and I'd really appreciate it if you would donate to those kids. And finally, I do want to thank Mr. Guns. We did purchase this from them with the patron dollar, so thanks, Elliot. So this 2-inch uh, 38 Special Revolver is... People kind of discount that, but these damn things have been working for you know a little over a hundred years, and they're going to be working long after. This is actually kind of a very similar overall platform to something like the Colt Detective Special, uh, just made with sort of budget parts in mind. Now you have to remember this gun isn't double single action; it's double action only, and the grip is designed for concealed carry. It did come with a bigger, thicker plastic grip, although when we tried to put it on, it didn't even fit. Um, it's kind of weird because the grips are labeled Rock Island Armory and they came in a box with a Rock Island Armory gun that they don't fit, apparently. Um, I don't know if that's poor manufacturing quality. It makes me a little nervous about the gun. But as far as Rock Island as a company goes, I've got a lot of experience with their 1911s and their 2011s, and honestly, they're pretty excellent for the price. So grips aside, I'll be interested to see how this shoots. Now, a double action only revolver that is 24 ounces, that has a two inch barrel, and a size radius that is really really short is going to be a challenge to shoot without a 13 pound trigger but this does in fact have a 13 pound trigger so I think what you're going to see today during the first shots is you're going to see an initial failure phase where I'm getting used to the trigger and then hopefully we'll get used to it enough to where we can overcome it and start shooting relatively well we're going to put a lawman through this today because I figured cheap gun cheap ammunition we got a bunch of this so hopefully it works relatively well the nice thing about revolvers is they are less finicky with the ammunition and semi-autos are because they don't require the inertia of the gun going off to actually function you are manually operating it with your booger hook but i do not love that it has a 13 pound trigger because for all of you know i'm a bit of a trigger snob hell my favorite guns are cz's and 1911s why do you think that is so we'll get down there and shoot it today and we'll see if this two inch trough sight works let's find out okay baby all right we're gonna load the first shots for this guy and we're at about 80 yards and you can sneer at that if you want but i like to see how good i am cold um like my wife was talking earlier, sometimes you just gotta drop your ego and try to figure out if it's you shooting correctly or the gun. And I think being able to self-identify your misses and stuff is a really important skill that people don't always have. And sometimes a big, long, double action trigger pull will tell you some things about your trigger mechanics you didn't otherwise know. So, they're fun little guns to shoot. Oh boy, wow, this gun's not made for me at all. I got my trigger fingers stuck in the trigger guard because I my fingers are too, my hands are literally too big for the gun. So one thing I noticed right away, grabbing it the first time, this is super uncomfortable. This is right where my knuckle sits. And then we have some real spatial issues in the trigger guard as well. So I'm gonna move up a little bit. Oh boy, that's uncomfortable. I got one hit. All right, so in two shots, that is what happened. It's just beating the daylights out of my hand. So uh, we're gonna see if we can get uh, those bigger grips to fit inside hell or high water. I'll just smash them together if I have to. All right, welcome to the workshop. Yeah, so we just put the vise in here to help us put the grips on a little bit. I just wanted to show people we actually did get the grip on. It just literally took an enormous amount of force and we were just trying to do it. We don't have much pressure on it. We were just trying to hold the end and I smashed the front of it real hard and I had my wife stick the screw in just enough for it to actually reach. And now the grips are on. They're not perfectly centered, but they are on and that's gonna feel a little more comfortable for my big bear claws. We basically just clamped them on here and there's a space on either side where they don't fit. So we just kind of put them on there with a lot of pressure, but later I'm probably just gonna file that out and shave it out. I just wanted to get it on there for the video. However, it does suck that it just didn't fit out of the work box. Out of the box. Yeah, you know, 
I would I would blame that more if it wasn't two hundred and fifty dollars, I guess. But yeah, it seems True. pretty stupid to literally manufacture grips that don't fit. I well, might how many people have a vice in their basement? Probably more people than on this gun, but I guess hopefully. I almost just fell. I saw that. Accurate though. No shit. Thirteen pound trigger pull on everything. Wow. Well, there we had a failure to fire. Okay. Let's check that one that failed to fire. Oh, the, it's this guy. Which one was it? We had no uh, firing pin Dave, mark on it. Can you all. stop moving? Sure. So I can see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no mark on the firing pin at all. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Why would that be? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. I know these guns have a break-in period that we're going to be experiencing here during the video as well. But wow, say super what you want. Accurate, though. Yeah, no shit for a tiny little compact carry gun. Yeah. That's double action only. Yeah. But that's why I said like. I I believe single action and striker fired guns are superior to double only, but the reality is is double only is just like anything else. It requires some skill and practice, and then you can master it. Okay. All right, let's try some at 50 yards here. Well, it's not six inch plate accurate yet, but we did hit all the IPSC targets from 50 yards with no issues. I just shot four out of four there on four different targets. And for a fucking little tiny little 38 special, I mean, now that we've got these grips on here, I initially hate this gun. The first shots I fired with the wood grips, holy crap, I'm throwing those in the trash. We are having some mediocre timing issues as well. All right, now we're gonna try it up close. We're about 12 yards here. Four ipsic targets will go one, 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 and then we'll swing and double tap that guy right there. So let me know when. It's pretty good. I don't know, I mean, six rounds of 38 special is not ideal, but I mean, I would take this well over many of the guns we've shot recently like if you had to give me this or the high point it's this if you give me this or the scc y it's this you know it's a lot of purpose for a double action revolver even in today's standards i mean people always talk about military and police applications but they're not exactly the same as concealed carry and i think concealed carry really has ideal situations for short up close revolvers i mean the awesome thing about revolvers up close is there is no malfunctions you can create really with garment entanglement or with grappling and i like that a lot because with a snub nose revolver you could press it into the intended target and pull the trigger until it goes away whereas a semi-auto generally you're gonna have malfunctions doing that especially if you press a semi-auto into the into, into a thing and try to fire you're gonna put it out of battery whereas like grappling circumstances i i feel like a little shorty really applies. Runs a plate rack like a beast too. Yeah. So overall the downsides of revolvers are always going to be reload time and capacity and the necessary aspect of having to master the double action trigger. Once those things are done, I mean, I think it's a very reputable, really good self-defense tool in my opinion. I think if you're looking for a super cheap revolver, so far this is a pretty good way to go. We had one timing issue in the very beginning. It does have a break-in period. Ever since then, the gun's been very smooth, very accurate, and so far, I'm pretty impressed. Ooh, 
shooting on the move. Needs a little work apparently. Not bad. Let's try a little bit. Oh, I ran out. I only have three rounds left. What should we do with our last three? What do you think? Mm, hostage plate. All right. Oh boy. You gotta take a hostage shot at 10 yards, huh? Let's do them on the beep. Let me know when. Beep. Stop or my mom will shoot. Oh, we got him. Yep. Um, let's pop him back. Well, we got him in the head, but it didn't pop back. I only got one shot left. I don't want to waste it. And my hostage. People always say there's no need for high port. I mean, if there's people underneath you, there is. Yeah. Yeah, I got my inner Jerry Mitchell light going. Not bad. All right, so, so far, it performed almost exactly how I expected it to. We were gonna have some bobbles in the beginning, we're gonna have some little bit issues here and there because cheaper guns require a bigger break-in period. And that is the case with this. Uh, we had one timing issue, we had the second one on the range, and after that we had no problems at all. Uh, we had no issues with accuracy. I was very impressed with the accuracy. Cheap ammo, cheap gun, um, okay shooter, and we got some pretty decent hits at 75 yards. On command hits on a man sized target at 50, 25, everything was easy, and at 10, even hostage shots were easy to do very quickly. So, double action can be mastered, and cheaper guns can be accurate. Revolvers are inherently accurate to begin with. Fixed barrel and usually pretty decent trigger and stuff like that makes for a very accurate gun. Uh, even the cheap ammunition worked well. We had no ammunition related failures. Overall, I was pretty impressed with it. Once we got the cheaply made bigger grip on the gun, something that most of you probably will not require. I'm six foot four. The small grip didn't work for me for a number of reasons, but once we put the larger grip on, it was super easy to shoot. Part of that is because it shields you from that trigger guard that I was smashing right there. The other one, the grips go all the way up and it allows a big loop there. And I literally had no space at all to function with the gun at all. So I'm happy that we finally vice these bad boys on there. That being said, my one issue with the gun out of the box would be, what the fuck? Make the grips fit <laughs> like seriously like what was that about but other than that it's a fantastic gun and especially for $200 uh, I would consider it a very viable home defense self-defense option as of now that being said 100 rounds is not a review I say first shots in these videos because that is what it is it's my first shots my first experiences and my first impressions and those things generally change uh, after the next 900 rounds which we generally do thousand round reviews especially of guns I'm interested in uh, and especially guns for made for concealed carry because I want to make sure to give you the most accurate authentic information that I can so uh, We're gonna be doing a long detailed review of this, but as of the first impressions so far So good if you like this video, please like and subscribe Please support your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later Finger gun me, did you? Pew, pew, pew. You know that's a what do they call that? A microaggression now? You gotta watch that. Might turn you in. Oh, microaggression! You might turn you into our HR person, which is my dog Lily. At least I know she'll take my side. <laughs>